pressuring me to have this baby, okay? I was really You said compromise. you wanted to have this you... baby too. One, two, three. <laughs> Coming with me. Mum, please. Just I... shut up and do as you're told. He's put it a second. No, no, he's going to it. Austin 28, but the casualty. It's okay, love, it's okay, it's okay. Let them do this. Oh, granddad, I can't please. Trey's gonna pay for this. I'll make sure of it, whatever it takes. Just leave Trey to the cops, mate. You went on that bus. You don't know what he put us through. I saw the way the Ambos were looking at each other when they're working on Hugo. I want to check if Philippe's okay. Yeah, well, I think Charlie was going to drop her home, so why don't you give her a ring, eh? Baby? Oh, I hope you're a, a good boy for our ring. Oh, love, how are you? Uh, Miles called me down here. He's nicked home to get Jai some stuff. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Hello. Love, I was worried sick. Oh, I can't believe any of this has happened. I mean, we know Trey had his problems, but they've hate bottled up inside of you. Yeah, I know. I just hope to goodness the cops catch up with him before he hurts anyone else. Mrs. Palmer. I found Trey at home when I got back from the hospital. Where is he now? I don't know. We were driving to the station so he could give himself up and I stopped at a red light and he just got out and took off. Okay, how long ago was this? A while ago. We were on Oak Street. I, I've i been driving around ever since looking for him. All right, do you have any idea where Trey would be now? No, he can't be far away. I'm sorry. I want all units down to Oak Street and a door-to-door -door search, okay? I need to get back to the hospital. When you find Trey... Yeah, we'll contact you. No, it's fine. You stay with Rachel. I'll call you if there's any news. Okay, thanks, Tony. Bye. Tony spoke to your mum, and as soon as she's got something to look after Brendan, she'll be on her way. This is going to crush her. Every time Hugo went out to sea, every time he'd disappear, she'd act like she was okay, but I knew she was scared. I kept telling her not to worry, but I was scared too. I thought maybe one day his luck would run out, but... It's not like this. I know I keep saying it, but he will be okay. He will be. I'm gonna get a coffee or something. Any news on Hugo? Like you can. They've taken him in for a scan, and that's all we know. I'm sorry. Did you get the message I left for you before? Your hearing's been moved to tomorrow. Yeah, I got it. Why didn't you tell me? Well, it didn't seem important. Well, you need to ring the court first thing in the morning. Once they hear what's happening with Hugo, they should be able to delay your case. Thank you for letting us know. I hope everything works out okay. Like I said, we'll have a media release out soon. I'm sorry, that's all I can give you. Can you grab that? And get on to switch us and to redirect all calls to the media unit in the city. Somehow I don't think that's going to be the last we hear from the press. I heard about Trey giving his mum the slip. Yeah, it's so frustrating. I told her the minute you see Trey to call me and she went and took matters into her own hands. Guess she was just panicking. Yeah, and he might have had just enough of a start on us to get away. Look, we've got an unmarked car placed out front of the Palmer house now. If Trey rocks up, we're going to get him. Can you get over to the hospital? I want to know when we can interview John Palmer. When I get back, I need you to sign off on some paperwork too in regards to Xavier Austin's court appearance tomorrow. Has that been brought forward? Yeah. Allows the time with Hugo in hospital. Easy's dropped again. Get another bag up when we're in there. For the GCS of seven. You guys, if you can hear me, squeeze my hand. He needs urgent intubation. Page the anaesthetic reg on call. Do that now, thank you. Tell us what's going on. The scan picked up evidence that there's bleeding in the area around where the shrapnel lodged. Oh, what does that mean? Well, essentially it means that there's pressure building up between his brain and his skull. Once we've got him intubated, we'll get him into theatre, remove the shrapnel and try to stop the bleeding. And if you can't remove the shrapnel, what happens then? Let's just get him into theatre first and we can see what we're doing, okay? But I need to know, could he die? Let's just take things one step at a time from here. What are you doing? I told you 
told you to stay in the back. I was squashed. I need to get out for a minute. Here. Yeah. What are you doing? Why don't you just take me to the police station? What you did was unforgivable. But you are my son and I love you. And I don't want you to spend the rest of your life behind bars. Thanks. Trey, I don't understand how this happened. Why couldn't you talk to me? Or why wouldn't you let me help you? Should I have protected you from your stepfather? I, I thought I was doing the right thing. I thought you needed someone strong in your life. Well, at least this way you'll have a fighting chance. Maybe I can tell myself that I didn't deny you that. I should get going then. No. I'll drive you to the city. After that, you're on your own. Did you get any sleep? More than you, I'm guessing. Mm. I just got onto the hospital. They're still working on Hugo in theatre. Did the techies get a look at Trey's computer? Yeah, they pulled down every website he's looked at in the last few weeks and it wasn't pretty. Though, compared to the stuff he's written in his journal, pages and pages on how much he hates his stepdad, lists of people who've crossed him. Ruby's name's in here. I don't even want to think about what could have happened. It's bad enough we've got two people in hospital. So you're going to talk to John Palmer today? Yeah, and I'll get Janina back in again as well. Hopefully they can give us some answers about how it all started. Listen, thanks again for staying back last night. I know I'm keeping you from your own case. Oh, look, there's not much happening there anyway. Not until I get the DNA results back. And even then, I don't know if it's going to give us much. Constable Rosetta. Really? Yeah, I'll look into it, thanks. Xavier didn't call the court this morning like I asked him to. Oh, and I bet he didn't front the court either. And then I'll happy about it. Hey, is Xavier here? Mate, are you actually trying to make things worse for yourself? I'm not you, mate. What's going on? His court appearance this morning. I thought you were supposed to call first thing. I forgot. You're lucky the judge didn't issue a warrant. Being a no-show for court's a pretty serious thing. It's actually an offence. Can you cut him some slack? His brother's in surgery. It's not anything I can fix, Martha. You know, all you had to do was call. I even gave you the number. Maybe instead of hassling me, you should be out there trying to find the scumbag and put my brother in hospital. We're doing everything we can. Yeah? That's why Trey's still out there. I'm just trying to help you, Xavier. I can understand how frustrating this must be for you, but... You don't understand anything. We don't even know if my brother's going to make it through his surgery. Do you get that? We've had next to no sleep. And we're on our way back to the hospital, so... If you don't mind... Dan's life and Trey Palmer has turned it into a complete disaster. Yeah, and wasn't it his idea to go on it in the first place? What do you think he had planned all along? I don't know, love. Morning. Hello. Hey. What are you doing here, girlie? Well, I just want to get busy. Yeah, but we can cover for you here. Don't you want to be at home? It's okay. I just want things to go back to me. Well, love, if you change your mind and it gets too much for you, just give us a hoy, yeah. all right? 